Greetings to you. Welcome to this lecture of what is Linux, its uses and advantages. You're probably jumping on this video because you're thinking to learn Linux or maybe finding a perfect free YouTube playlist to learn Linux for free and you are at the right place. So let's get started with what is Linux. If I just want to sum up my definition of what is Linux in short, then I would say that Linux is an open source operating system based on Unix and it is running on a variety of hardware with heavy operating demands. Now let's try to operate this definition. When I say Linux is an open source, then it means you have freedom to do anything with the source code in terms of seeing it, modifying it and distributing it. When I say it is based on Unix, then I mean Unix as a suite of kernel, shell and programs. Kernel and shell usually works very closely. For example, when I write rm command in my shell that is used for removing file, then what will happen? Kernel will allocate some time and memory through system calls to complete this task. Now you know, when I say variety of hardware with heavy operating demands, then it means it can handle the systems of aeroplane, satellite, submarine to your Android smartphone. It's all around you. Now you need to learn one more thing in order to understand Linux in depth. That is seven layers of Linux or you can say levels responsible for running Linux. The first one is bootloader. Now you must have seen the first screen loading up when you start your computer. That's where it begins. That splash screen which comes and go quickly, it's the bootloader of Linux. Second one is kernel. We already had a discussion about how kernel is the core of managing your CPU, memory and getting the tasks done with the coordination of shell commands. Third one is init system. When I say init system, then it means that it is the initial system or background processes. For example, with SSHD, you can manage all the connections of SSH remote access or HTTPD, the easier example, HTTPD manages the Apache server. Notice that they have D in the end because here we represent D as the daemons. So this init system manages all the daemons and daemons is the fourth layer. Now these daemons or you can say background services starts during boot or after you log into your desktop. So no confusion on this part. Fifth one is graphical server. It shows the graphics on your monitor. Pretty understandable. Sixth one is desktop environment. Now this is a layer where you as a user is actually interacting. You must have heard about GNOME, Cinnamon, KD, XFC. All of them have a different built-in applications like file manager, web browser and some tools depending upon uh, which one you are choosing like this. Last is application. Like you have Windows Store or same as there it is in macOS, you download high quality software. Linux also offers high quality software, but beauty here is that it has centralized software center. For example, in Ubuntu, you have Ubuntu software center by which you can search among thousands of apps and can install them from one centralized location. Now let's talk about the uses. Now users are really important. It has been asked at a lot of places. And if we talk about today's IT space, Linux is a game changer. It has become essential for the organizations like Kubernetes, a container cluster manager from Google, Docker, SDNs, and you can say it is the favorite of cloud industry today. It is also a major trump card for industries of smart devices, servers, telecommunication, Almost most of the government organizations are using it and it has also become the catalyst in the world of cybersecurity and more of such places. Now let's talk about the advantages of Linux. Now some of the biggest advantages of using Linux is that it is open source and it is free. Now Linux is provingly powerful in meeting the standards of emerging needs. It is more secure and imagine there is no antivirus programs for protection. It requires a very low disk space as compared to other operating system, which means it will save your hardware economy. It has powerful networking capabilities and as a side pun, it gives software updates in the hands of the users 
unlike windows so if you like this lecture please let me know in comment section i would love to make more of such videos and would love to complete this playlist but that's it for this one see you in the next lecture and share it with someone who is looking to learn linux that's it for today folks i'll see you again tomorrow